Hello everyone, welcome to the final Colossus class number 16 in Hard Time Attack. And we are going to kick things off by running straight up ahead and then eventually dropping down into this pit. And we are going to complete this in 10 minutes and 45 seconds, down from the 13 minutes you had to do it in previous versions of the game. Now, you're going to, if this, assuming this is the 16th and final Colossus you defeated in Hard Time Attack, you are going to get the Queen Sword at the end of this as an item. And that item is awesome. You're going to be able to strike... Uh, the class size weak points with one or two stabs and it's very very good especially if you're going to do any subsequent new, uh, playthroughs on new game plus so anyways once you get out of that tunnel you're going to go and have to make your way into a second tunnel here and we're just going to eventually kind of weave up to the front to the point to where we can start climbing up on top of them and then we're going to have to kind of puzzle our way up to its head and have to deal with him at that point so once we're outside here, very simple, just keep following the path. You're going to have to grab this ledge and shimmy around and then do a back jump. And then we're going to go back inside again. So just be careful. He can His uh, ranged attack can knock you back and knock you out. And it can do a, a pretty decent chunk of uh, damage to you. So be careful. When you come out of this one which we will hear in just a second. We're going to start climbing up the wall. Uh, be careful. If you run straight ahead, uh, jump straight out of here and then straight ahead, uh, there's going to be an attack waiting for you. So I'm just going to hide behind that pillar and then before I kind of jump up here. Now here's where it can, can get real tricky and for some reason you can't jump up on this spot. You're going to have to move off to the right. Uh, you're going to have to get behind the cover right in front of us and then kind of run off and roll to the right using the cover. He can get you, not necessarily here, but then this next one here while you run out. So I just kind of time it so right as the attack hit that previous barrier, then I kind of run out there and roll. It can be very tricky. If he hits you, he'll knock you back into the, uh, into the tunnel section. So now we've finally reached uh, the actual boss himself, and we just got to climb and do a ton of climbing. Because this dude's a skyscraper, basically. He is huge. So we will be spending the next couple of minutes scaling this. Uh, plenty of time to uh, thank you guys once again for your support in watching this series. If you watched them all, awesome, thank you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you felt the hardest encounter was. Uh, maybe your comparisons if you played it on previous uh, generations uh, with those. I'm kind of curious how the, because I never played it on the PS3, so I'm just kind of really kind of curious how it compares to the previous versions of the game. I didn't find it too difficult, actually. Most of them I completed in, in one, uh, in my first attempt, sometimes two. This one took me a couple, actually, because I kept getting hit by his ranged attack, the final uh, section out uh, down below. All right, so just did a charge jump up there. We're gonna keep going. There is nothing tricky about this other than uh, getting up there uh, as quickly as you can. You wanna save as much time as you can. Now I do uh, complete this with plenty of time on the clock, so we don't have to rush it too much. But once you get up here, you need to go to his backside, and we're going to stab his vital point here. Once you've done that, he's going to take his hand and reach behind him. And at that point, we can now jump to the hand. So I'm just going to drop down and then jump to his palm. Now you want to get to the top side of his palm here. If you get to the top side and then do a stab, it'll actually level him out. First, we need to get up there, so we're going to get up here and do a quick jab. Now, he's kind of leveled out for us, and you can see the next vital point there. We're going to hit that here in just a second. When you hit this, his other hand is going to come, and we're going to jump to that. And there's actually a little ledge there, so I'm going to just drop down and then quickly turn around and jump to his other hand. Get to the top of the palm once again and do the same thing. Now once you're here, you're going to have to do a stab on the, on the hand, on the top of the hand, and then he'll steady himself, and you need to quickly switch to your bow. So do a jab here, and then switch to your bow, and you're going to see on the shoulder a weak point. We are going to hit that, now quickly hold on, grab with your R2 button, he's going to move his hand closer. We are now going to be able to climb up the hand and jump off of his hand to his shoulder. Switch back to our sword, and we're going to jab the shoulder a couple times here. And then we're going to have access to his head, and that is where we're going to have to uh, 
hold on like we're on a bull and uh, get our jabs in. Of course, got six minutes to do that. So be patient. Be mindful of your stamina, of course. Now there is a spot here where you, if you can just find it and if you're lucky enough, you can just keep jabbing them over and over. I am unable to do that, unfortunately. And he is going to shake his head quite a bit here. Probably would have been good if I was just doing three quarter strength attacks. Because he was always knocking me just at the, at the moment of a full attack. But again, stay tuned to the end of this because we are going to get the Queen's Sword for defeating our 16th Colossus in the hard time attack that, again, will allow you to basically uh, one-hit most Colossi's weak points. And we're getting close here. Speaking of the Queen Sword, there is a trophy you get for defeating. Uh, a call, it's called a Sword of Her Majesty. You get that trophy for defeating any Colossus with the Queen Sword. So after you've gotten that Queen Sword, you're going to have to use it against a, a, a Colossus. You can't uh, use any special weapons or items in the time attack mode, so you're going to have to do like New Game Plus or Reminiscence mode, possibly. Reminiscence mode is where you return to a Colossus you previously defeated and uh, interact with the kind of the stones that are left in its place. And you also get a trophy for that. So there we go. That is the Colossus. The Colossus is down. We've completed the time attack. Go back to the pool once that's over. Pull out the Queen Sword. This beauty is a beast. I love it. I'm gonna make the new game pluses go real, real quick. Of course, you're gonna play new game plus over and over to uh, increase your stamina and health to max. So here it is in action. Just jump to this weak point here. This is the first uh, Colossus defeated. Uh, used it on his head already, and then just one stab there on his uh, next vital point. And we got the trophy. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. And of course, subscribe.